Hey, my name is Jan Ketil Röth and I will in this video talk about Mosaic to new raster. Uh, if you read Norwegian you can have some background information about this from the chapter 6.3 in the textbook GIS Tools to Understand the World. Now Mosaic of rasters that is when you want to combine two or more rasters into one new raster data set. And this can be done for all kinds of rasters. Typically, if you have remote sensing data set, these are image rasters, often having several bands, and you can still use the mosaic to raster functionalities. Uh, you may have land use categories into a discrete raster, no problem of using mosaic to raster, or for in this example, I will later show you if you have digital elevation models or other kinds of continuous raster with float values, you can also mosaic them into one new raster. Here's one example uh, using the 10 meter resolution digital elevation models from Norway. These are, when you download them, these come as tiles and for instance here there are two tiles covering part of the eastern Norway and these are then having in this overlapping area a total of 201,640 pairs of overlapping pixels and then you need to de decide how are you going to combine these pairs of pixels because you can only have one pixel with one pixel value in a raster. Typically there are these options you may use uh, if you have one raster here, uh, raster one and another raster here, raster two, and this is the overlapping area. These two pixel values you can take the value of the first raster to the one of the left here or you can take the last one raster 2 or you can take the minimum of the two the maximum or you can even sum them you can take the mean or you can take the blended value which is a weighted mean the weighting is supposed to work that if a pixel here is close to the edge in one of the raster the distance here is used in the weighting in such a way that it has large influence from the pixel value which is far from the edge. So here would then the pixel value from Rasta 2 have higher weights. In my experience with S3 uh, software is that uh, Blan sometimes gives some surprising strange results so I usually use the mean when I want to mosaic digital elevation model. I will give you a practical example of that, a part of Western Norway, where I have downloaded two digital elevation uh, model with one meter resolution. And I want to combine these two rasters into one new raster. I opened up here the two rasters. They are in, they are TIFF, uh, in TIFF format. And um, if we zoom in on them yeah first we notice that there are some missing values here i will show you later in another video how you can deal with that but here you see the overlapping area if we toggle the display of one of them we'll see that there is a overlapping part here and i measured this to be about 10 meter so there are several pixel which has has to be combined and uh, we need to set the rule on how these pixels which are overlapping here what value should the the resulting raster get so we use the tool uh, for that um, there is a, there is a huge package of um, tools you can do on mosaic data set but a very simple and often uh, effective one is the mosaic to new raster which you find under the raster data set folder and the raster in the data management toolbox. So starting the tool 
we see what parameters we need to input. Of course, we need to input the two TIFF rasters which we want to combine. So indicating them as input raster, we need to set an output location, which could be, um, yeah, I, I made a exercise folder here on pluvial flooding for which I will use the resulting raster. So I'll pick that as an output location. Um, raster data name with extension, if it is stored in a GDB, or a geodatabase and it is a grid format you don't need the extension of it so we can call it simply my dem for instance I have one already so I can just type two here to avoid an error and you can set the spatial reference for the raster and here you can just pick one of the other um, features or rasters which you have in the table of content for instance the area delineated the watershed so it will pick the spatial reference for that layer and add it also to the new raster and here's something important um, the pixel type which you will be using 8-bit uh, unsigned means that you can only have 256 values and only positive integers and that is not enough to cover the detail of and the range of values in this. Here we go from a little bit below zero with several decimals up to 886 something. So far beyond the range of values available in the 8-bit unsigned type of raster. So to know what to set here, it could be the best thing to just use the current type same type of raster which is in the input and you got that information by right clicking the tiff file here go to source in the layer properties and under raster information we will see that okay we have one numbers of bands here typically we have that for digital elevation model the cell size is one meter both in x and y direction and here we see that the pixel type is a floating point with a pixel depth of 32 bit. So this gives us then, sorry, I need to cancel this. So this gives us this information we need to know. So we have a 32 bit float as a pixel type here. And the pixel size or the cell size was one meter in both direction and the numbers of band were one. And here also the important thing, as I recommend, to use the mean value here. Mosaic color mode, color map mode, we don't care about that because, um, yeah, we don't have any color map for, for this. And then it's just to click run and the raster will be produced. This takes some time, so I'll done that already. And the my dam here is then one raster which covers the entire uh, area. It looks a bit strange here, but this is some kind of display issue uh, I have when running Camtasia. So, but it, it should work well. Thank you for listening.